Hello everyone, and um, this video is to see the space requirements for Visual Studio 2003 review, the Premium Edition. I've chosen the Premium Edition because it's relatively between um, like the standard professional edition and the ultimate. Most companies will provide their developers with the professional or the premium one. Some companies with um, MSDN licenses having plenty of Visual Studio Ultimate will provide these to their developers or as per how many licenses they have. So the premium is like a good case in the middle. So let's go ahead and see how um, how much this Visual Studio is expected to take. So this is a ISO, I have extracted it here. Then installation as you can see and press next. And then we see. By default, all the components are installed. This gives us about 12.11 um, gigs of data. The most interesting thing is how it's going to go when we start removing uh, components. So if we remove all the components, you can still see that we have 6.44 gigabytes of data that we require. This is because most of the Visual Studio components like the editor and debugger and all the sorts of stuff, they are really shared components. So it doesn't exactly matter which item for this you choose. There will all be uh, like a fair amount of data that's pretty much half of the size already acquired. Let's start um, adding stuff and see what would be the biggest one. Because I've done this before, I can tell you in uh, in advance that uh, Wins Phone SDK is the biggest one. You can see that it's taking almost four gigabytes of data when you know that just the shared parts are 6.44. Well, yeah, that is plenty of storage. So if, if you're not really doing Windows Phone development, you, you must save some good space if um, by not selecting these ones. Server light doesn't really make a serious difference. It's like less than 200 megabytes of data. Windows 8 bus, interestingly, don't don't take uh, much as well, especially if you compare it to Windows Phone SDK. So yeah, I highly recommend going ahead with that even if, if you're not using it because they're very nice um, APIs in uh, Windows 8.1 as well as being added. And, it's a, it's a very uh, nice environment to develop in. Note that Windows um, Phone 8 SDK isn't, it's, it's just um, there is a big difference there. With developer tools, well, we are starting to see um, a notable difference here, like 500 megabyte, but yeah, still um, all of them are fair. SQL Server tools, Surprisingly, not, not, not much at all. Um, Office developer tools, that's another um, 500 megs. Of course, storage really doesn't uh, matter if you have a hard disk, most likely you have a um, very good amount of storage, but if you have an SSD, then um, the claim that storage is cheap becomes a little relative, you know? Then C++ was, yeah, that's like um, 600 or slightly more. So um, yeah, I, I would still highly recommend um, that you get this. Sometimes a lot of things have like magical dependencies on C++ stuff. So yeah, really good. go ahead with it. Light switch, interestingly, you can save like a gig if you're not doing any light switch development. Um, for the preview, at least, uh, I think you, you would be selective with the preview because most of the time you install the preview to play with the bits you like the most. Uh, when this goes to our team and, and I don't have two Visual Studio versions installed on my machine, I would just install the whole thing and I wouldn't really um, question it much. But if, if it's something like a review that you're downloading and installing for playing with it, enjoying the stuff. Um, if you're not doing light switch, yeah, that would be nice saver. 
Blend, you would most likely be using Blend with Windows 8 development. Um, so we, um, it's, it's very small anyway, you can see, and if I put Windows 8 as well, that's like um, 300 megs combined. It's, it's worth experimenting. Again, the preview version is, is all about experimenting. So um, it's, it's also nice to have and try. And to this point, it, like, am I giving you a specific advice? Am I telling you not to go with Windows Phone development? If, if, if that's something you, you want to experience with, of course, go ahead with it. Just be nice to um, have... Like make sure you put it on a drive that have enough storage. Um, if if you have SSDs like like me, and I'm trying to make everything I'm I'm using SSDs, this, this can be a bit uh, tricky. So make sure you have it. And apart from that, like we have seen all the components, there isn't much difference really. You 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 start seeing that they're all very small pieces, and all the small pieces add up. So it's it's good to know. I thought for somebody. This was Mohamed Miligi in another quick tip video. If you want to see more videos like this, please suggest any topic you want to me. You can contact me via my blog, gurustop.net, Twitter, at Miligi, or email me, inishi.miligi, at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching.